What's up everybody? 915 Mang here, hanging out at a El Paso Tradition Chico's Tacos. And uh, I'm gonna get a bite to eat here before we get started in the video. If you've ever been in the 915, make sure you swing by, get yourself some Chico's by you and your date. $20, real good. Might have to use the restroom afterwards. So let's get into the unboxing that I have here. I got a package from Reef Breeders, reefbreeders.com, and uh, I got a hat. Very nice hat. I'm going to be representing this. I have uh, LEDs from Reef Breeders. I have actually two, the Photon version 2, the 50 inch, and I have the 24 inch. And uh, I'm going to be sporting this hat around. Um, what did I order? Well, I ordered the dosing bundle. Um, it came with the Coral Box Wi-Fi doser, and it also came with the cor the uh, containers, and then the probe holders for like your lines from the doser. Uh, this is all Coral Box, and uh, it's pretty nice, nice stuff. Uh, the why did I get it online? I got it from Logan due to the fact that he actually comes with a warranty. You can buy them on uh, Amazon or eBay. Or some other site but it's probably not going to have a warranty um, and the customer support is pretty good you shoot him an email you and you can see on the forums that he'll answer you back so if you want to contact you need to get in touch with them go ahead and take a look at this business card you'll see Logan the owner Logan at Reef Breeders and uh, you can hit him up so anyways I picked up the Wi-Fi dosing pump uh, I like this because it's small footprint that it has I'm gonna be using this under my 150 gallon reef tank just showing you a little bit of something uh, what it looks like and um, and you can see that it comes with the mounting tells you which way your uh, heads turn and all that small footprint something to measure the uh, dose with and uh, this whole package wasn't too bad it was a total of $219 and uh, it comes with a six month warranty. So if anything happens, as far as uh, defect, six months you're covered. Um, the lights still have or do come with 24 months. So that's something to think about. Uh, packaging real nice. Uh, I'm gonna be using these, this container and I'm also gonna be using the Aquamax container um, because I'm gonna have doser set up on my frag tank. And I'm gonna have a doser set up on my 150 gallon. I'm thinking about this one either in my 150 or my frag tank. I don't know yet. The dosers I'm going to use for the frag tank cover is going to be a J-Bo uh, doser. And um, I'm going to use that on the frag tank just mainly to dose, keep things in check, and um, mainly dose vinegar. The alkalinity and calcium, I don't foresee that really going too much up and down on the frag tank. But on the uh, 150, I will have to monitor and test. You can see for yourself the quality of the doser is pretty compact. I like that it doesn't have any buttons. I can go ahead and mess around with it on everything on my phone. Uh, it is Wi-Fi, so that's pretty nice. Um, I have the Coral Box Nano Light, and that thing is pretty legit. So I was pretty expecting something high quality, uh, not like the good old cheap days of where everything was all cheap and junky. The acrylic work came out pretty nice, and everything was included unlike the uh, Jabo doser that I did get um, the original Jabo doser it did come with like an extra head but like the tubing and things like that weren't uh, included and this is everything uh, included so that's pretty nice I will give you a review on it later on see if I like it if I recommend it so far I'm happy with how it is it doesn't feel cheap at all uh, pretty easy looks like to set up just push it in snap it and go from there. I'll let you guys know the truth, if it sucks or not, or how it's been performing in a later video. What kind of doser are you guys using? Are you guys just doing water changes, manually dosing? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I do want to show you my tanks on tanks and tanks. I have a 20 gallon tall, I have a 10 gallon sump inside of that, and I still have my 12 gallon long from Aquamax. I was thinking about taking this to work or something, but you know what? I, I'd rather just keep it simple here at the house. I think this would be an awesome tank. 
20 gallon tall and then I have a 10 gallon sump that I made. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to do, what I'm planning on doing here in a minute. But I am for sure going to be using my Reef Breeders Photon, the 24 inch. And I'm still thinking about using some uh, T5 in with this system or not. But I'll let you guys know here in a second. So I basically got some frags together. I did a uh, little frag pack here. I'm going to turn on the blues so you can check it out with my flashlight. And see some of the different colors. I try to get some nice frags of Pallies and Zoas. Because that's mainly what I do. What I uh, That's my thing, right? So what I'm going to do is get a whole bunch of these. Put them together. And I'm going to take a little road trip. I'm going to take a road trip to uh, New Mexico. I'm going to head out and see my buddy Matt from uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico, which is a little bit away from me, a good uh, hour drive, but it's gonna be well worth it. And we're gonna go check out um, a special project that I had him working on. Uh, ended up asking him, hey man, how much will it cost me to get a frag tank? Matt being a typical reefer, he said, well, it wouldn't be that much. But why don't we just trade frags? And so that's what I did. Got a bunch of frags, and we're gonna go hang out with Matt for a little bit. It's bad. Looks awesome. Man, I was gonna step up my frag game. Yeah, right it's, the best thing about it is how clear it is. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable clear. It's crazy. You wouldn't even be able to tell. Like it's glass. Like, yeah. It's a little better. It's, right? Yeah, it's optically clearer than glass. So I'll round at the corners for you. That's done. That's almost just a router. That's how smooth that is. Yeah. Perfect. So I routed it, and then I you sand it a little bit, and that's how you get the. See how clear it is. Looking at the. If you look at it like down here at the bottom, it's not quite as clear. Uh -huh. I didn't uh, sand this in one as much because I like it a little more opaque than that. I think it looks. <laughs> yeah. There's Dude. still paper stuck in the bottom, so you can take that off. Okay. Well, thank you. It's mm -hmm. dope. And then I, and these ones, I, I rounded these. I think that just gives it an extra... Yeah, it just looks, it looks awesome. It looks really, really clean. When you look at it from the back, you'll see the, the well done. Because uh -huh. I just tacked it on there. Uh -huh. You don't, like when you... I just did it for looks, really. Yeah, but it looks good. When you look at it from the back, you'll see... I, I haven't seen this. nobody else do it like that. <clears throat> That's why when you were t telling me, I was like, what? All right. Yeah. Yeah, most people, most people just, I mean, you can paint it black like you do yeah. a, a tank, but this looks better. I think this looks sweet. The, I don't know if you saw my other one, I had a smaller one, and it was all bowing out on the sides. Yeah, it's because they don't use, it's rimless. Uh -huh. it's rimless. It was yeah, a rimless. A, it's three eighths or something instead of half inch. Crazy. This is dope. A new frag tank. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is nice. Actually, I mean, it's built like a tank. It should last forever. I water tested it. I only did three inches last uh -huh. night because I don't want to fill it. Yeah. No, it's not, no, it's just... So. So, um, before you put stuff in it, though, wash, you got to wash it out real good because when, when you use the buffer, it gets uh -huh. inside the tank, too. Okay. Yeah, I still need to make a stand, and uh, this is going to be awesome. Yeah. Stand I'm, of the light I'm going to use. Um, I have a 24 inch uh, roof breeders. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah this that's why, I, actually, that's why I built these 24 inches because any LED is going to cover the whole tank. Yeah. You know, castle will cover the whole tank. Anything will cover the whole tank. Yeah. yeah that's pretty dope. Got, that's black left. I still got a ton of black. That's crazy. So, yeah. this is all from the. So, I, I made. I actually bought one sheet of half inch because uh -huh. I just wanted to make some frag tanks. So I've made this is the second frag tank I made, but I still have enough for one more frag tank. This is the second frag tank, and it looks looks all pro, man. Yeah, it came out. This one, this one definitely came out the best, and I learned a couple more techniques on this one. You know, the first one I did, I, I passed it through the router too fast, uh -huh. and so it leaves these. It burns the acrylic. It leaves little burns in it. Uh -huh. But this one, I a little slower, and it came out just perfect. Oh man, dude, 
Uh, I hope you like the frags. I, oh, yeah. I, uh, I'm, a I coral, can, I'm a coral hoarder, so. Yeah, so. Yeah, you, do you have one of these for yourself? or? Yeah, oh, yeah. You, I'm yeah? going to build one. I got the, I got the stuff right here to build another one. So I'm going to build one because I think I want to do, uh, I want to try breeding rock anemones. Oh, uh, yeah, this because. This is the perfect time for that. Yeah, you know they spawn. You can't, you can't yeah. frag rocks, so. Yeah. And they spawn. I, I've written some guys say they only spawn twice a year, but some guys say they spawn once a month if you feed them enough. Yeah, and I think probably if you have like moonlights or whatever, they'll probably like get on the lunar cycle and yeah. start. Yeah. yeah it's so cool too, them. man. This is a 40? That's a 40. Yeah, I, this is the one I used to have before I put my new tank in. Oh, okay. The, one I, the other one I made. So I just, this was all within the last month, so I took that one out. Yeah, typical reefer. This is just, you got yeah, you can tanks tell all over. From the outside, I was thinking, yep. man, you can tell I'm a reef from the outside. My house, I got dry, I got dry rock in a tub out there. I got acrylic shavings all over my Dude. front. Uh, this is awesome. Thank you. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah. Very, yeah, like said, very nice. Like very clean. Oh, I'll say real quick. This is awesome. I should have asked you if you wanted a frag. I could build a good frag right for that if you want it. Uh, yeah. I have some in there if you can take a couple of things. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's cool. But there's only, I see this to be perfect for this to be It just has to be drilled. To make a little, that's my... Your template? Template for the holes. Yeah, I used to make them with slots like this. Uh -huh. They suck, man, because the flow pushes the frags around them. Oh, okay. And I was so thinking I that these were awesome because no, you could fit so many. They're terrible. They suck? Unless you, I mean, you could pack them in real close if you're doing just Zoas probably. Uh -huh. But if you have SPS and all that stuff, you can't, they sting each other, so. Oh, okay. But I don't make them like that anymore. It's easier just to drill. So where's your router today? Right. And, okay. So I made all this myself, too. Did you just, are you self-taught, or you took oh, yeah. no. classes, or? Nope. I just watched uh, Reef to Reef, man, to be yeah. quite honest with you. Yeah. There's all those guys that do all the, there's a whole thread about acrylic tank manufacturing all this stuff. And so, so I made all that. That's cool, just man. Sits in there. And this is the, I use this bit for almost everything. That's and this is what you used to make the, the clean cuts? Everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. It spins 30,000 RPMs. And then this, so you just, when you do, when you route acrylic, you do what's called a negative cut. So normally when you cut, you're pushing into the, into the blade. Uh -huh. When you route acrylic and you want it to be square, you pull it. So I put a rail here. I pull the acrylic down and then through because that way this distance is always the same. Okay. So that makes it always square. Otherwise, if you're pushing into it and you're off by even an eighth of an inch, when you glue it together, it's, it sucks <laughs> because to get the, everything level and right after that, you gotta either use a razor, which is like this, even see I can pull my own. Oh, okay. So you gotta. Dude, freaking badass. To get everything flush like that, if you mess up, oh, it's terrible. Oh, that's cool though. Mine came out. Yeah, no, it came, that one came out perfect. It came out bomb. The one before I had a little bit of trouble with because I glued in, because I made it an all in one, but I glued the, the black pieces in first. Cause, right. Cause normally you have to do that because you can't bond more than one at a time. So I put them in first and then I put it all together. It was, it was tough. But wow. it worked out, but it was just harder. So I learned from that one. Are you going to do a all in one again for you or are you going to put them in? No, I think I'll do something like I this. I think this looks better, right? Yeah. Well, just because. I want to, I'll connect it. Connect this. everything. Everything on one system makes life easy, man. Yeah. Because then I don't have to, I do a water change, I do a water change on all the tanks at once. You know, and if I'm going to keep it out here, which I'll, I'll do, then, because my wife doesn't want to put it in there. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. And you have a 200 inside the house? Yeah, check it out. Yeah. Yeah, um, it, it looks interesting. I mean, it's not that expensive to get started. I mean, the router is 100 bucks. You know, so a piece of MDF to make a table is 20 bucks. This is sweet. And I mean, use MDF because this stuff is perfect. Yeah. yeah, and it's not gonna, it's, you don't have to worry about water. And then you can make this out of, I should probably make, I'll make another plate eventually out of acrylic. Because it'll be a little truer than this. This would great. Man. I make a sled. This works good too. So if you need a straight edge, I made a sled for my this. This, this is your table, table saw. So this sled is, just slides on my saw. See how easy that is? Uh huh. And this is perfectly level, perfectly straight. So I just back the material here. This made perfect cut. 
So, I, so you can even cut your acrylic with the. Yeah, yeah you just use a different blade. So you use something like this, which is like a 142 blade. Okay. So it's oh, a, little a lot bit. of teeth. Uh huh. Or something like that. Yeah, this is that's a wood cutting blade. If you cut acrylic with that, it would just chip it. That's dope. The only thing you have to worry about is uh, getting too hot. So if you you can spray it with water when you cut it. That's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same thing like when you're drilling glass, you know, just keep it wet. Oh. This is dope. Very cool. So clamps are the best friend, really. Here's my new baby. As you can see, it's all nice and secure. I got it tucked in. Um, it is 24 length, 24 width, 8 inches tall. Matt also hooked me up with a 20 gallon long sump. Um, and I'm going to use this save it uh, he said it was just gonna be sitting there so of course I took it but I'm gonna show you a video of his fish room and uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe because that fish room is pretty damn cool guys thanks have a good one